Hey, I'm Laura Bray, and we are here at Mr. K Japanese Noodle and Street Food with the one and only Mr. K. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Mr. K. Okay, Mr. K, can you tell us when you opened and why you picked this location? Uh, we opened the this store in last year, and then why this location? You know, uh, West Village or Greenwich Village is, is a, a mostly uh, known about the high traffic. You know, I believe that a quarter. Of, uh, Population in New York City, when they're looking for the food, they always come here. That's why we choose this location. So, Mr. K, can you tell everyone a little bit about Japanese street food and the theme of your restaurant? Okay. You know, um, when we choose this location, we knew that uh, not so many Japanese restaurants selling the street food, which is mean like, you know, uh, the street food like the sandwich, Japanese sandwich, or Japanese pancake. Uh, even like we do have homemade uh, pork belly and the uh, octopus bowl, it's, it's, that's a street food that mostly is selling in Japan on the street. That's what we do right here. So, Mr. K, can you tell us about some of your most popular menu items? Uh, yeah, uh, most of the customers they come to me, they come to Mr. K, they are looking for the yakisoba, which is the, the stir fried noodles and then why they come here. And also we have a few uh, Japanese uh, regular customers they always come here for the, the specific uh, yakisoba. We do the very traditional uh, stir fried noodle, which is like most of the, in Japan, they do the yakisoba, they only put the cabbage or bean sprout inside and on the top they put the bonito flag. Mr. K, can you tell us a little bit about what we're gonna try today? Okay, the first one, here that we call uh, katsu sando, which is a chicken uh, uh, breaded sandwich, and then the sauce that we put is uh, the Worcester sauce and the Japanese mayo. Uh, the bread is a wet bread, and what makes it different? We create uh, some crispy bread inside in between, and the second one that's a homemade uh, pork belly. The processing the uh, the chashio bun, the the bun pork belly, uh, and the pork belly itself, it took like almost like forty eight hours for the processing to oh, make wow. it. Yeah, so you can test right on. You can test the flavor is inside. And the third one we call the okonomiyaki, which is a Japanese pancake. Uh, the Japanese pancake we make this one is very simple. Some of them make it a little bit complete or complicated a little bit, but they will make it simple. Inside just a cabbage. On the top, we put the pork belly, and the sauce is gonna be a spicy. I mean, the sauce that is a Japanese mayonnaise, and uh, the okonomiyaki sauce. The top one you see, that's a bonito flag. Most of food like here is a uh, make to order. So we just like when the customer come in, they order, then we make it right away. So we don't uh, prepare for them. I'm gonna start with the okonomiyaki, which is the Japanese pancake first. <laughs> so fresh. The sauces are really good too. Very delicious. So now I'm gonna try the pork belly bun. Oh, you can. I can already feel the buns and all the attention that goes into them. Very exciting. Mm. That pork belly has been. You mar What are you marinated in? Oh, that's a lot of that's a, a lot of ingredient. We have uh, sake, mirin, garlic, mm. onion, scallion, mm. uh, soy sauce, sugar, bro, sugar. Like you can taste how much went into this. It is so so good. <laughs> wow. Finally, I'm gonna try the chicken katsu sando. Mm. The grill part, the bread, and the crunchy vegetables, the texture of the crunch of the chicken, it's amazing. So good. Wow. Mr. K, where are you from? Uh, originally, I'm from Indonesia. So what made you decide to become the master of Japanese street food here in New York? Uh, I've been working in Japan restaurant like 20 years. Yeah, so every single part restaurant I do it before. Like, for example, this was a bus boy, delivery guy, 
manager, assistant manager, Same consultant, <laughs> marketing, and I I designed the whole thing from A to Z by myself. The chef, you know, making sauce, uh, cooking, I do myself. But my expertise is in Japanese uh, food, so I only work with Japanese food. So this must be a lifelong dream for you to open your own Japanese restaurant here in New York City. Yeah, you know, uh, this is actually that uh, my uh, big dream and also my big opportunity to open a restaurant in New York City. Uh, you know, because the, mostly it should be, it used to be mostly I work in the New Jersey area, but I heard that a lot of people, a lot of friends, colleagues, or even my ex board they keep been talking that once you open, you can open a restaurant in New York City, especially in Manhattan, then one day you can, you, you, you make it easier to make another restaurant in any area in the United States. And that's why I'm here in Greenwich Village. And why I decided now to open uh, the restaurant uh, during the COVID-19. Uh, I tried to take the chance. Uh, first thing about, about the rent, it's cheaper. And the second thing, uh, of course, the, the, all the paperwork uh, much easier, uh, especially the, when you deal with the landlord. So I tried to take the chance. In the area, that's almost almost like a 15 or 16 Japanese restaurant, which is they're selling sushi, right. but not only that they're selling street food. Right? Yeah. They, you can't find a lot I, of street you food. cannot find uh, like uh, katsusan or uh, okonomiyaki, the pork belly bun in this area. That's why I'm here. And also, I try to make all the Japanese traditional food for everybody here. Definitely. Well, congratulations on all of your achievements in this restaurant. Everything was absolutely fantastic. And if we could just cheers to all your success. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. From Flavors of New York, I'm Laura Bray. Make sure you stop by Mr. K in the Village. Thank you so much, everyone.